Hello there, in this video I want to go over the revealing some of my techniques, what I do to create a perfect matching portraits with Mid Journey. For example, we're going to take this photo and I will show you step by step what I do with the prompts, how to set up, how to mix them together to create a beautiful portrait based on this but without losing any facial expressions, without losing resemblance to this because one of the biggest problem with me journey because it does not have it in painting or out painting we kind of stuck with what it's creating so i want to share some of my secrets what i do to be sure keeping exactly the same portraits exactly everything but creating my specific theme to create it what i wanted and expand on this image so let's go ahead and start with this so let's go begin on this and first, what I want to do is share how to create a perfect portrait in a mid journey. What I mean perfect, it is most resembling. Right here, example, we have an image that I took photo, photo inside the studio and I want to continue expanding on this image. I want to use the same portrait, everything only in different combinations. Then, of course, the first things what we can do, it is upload our image. Then because mid journey using Discord, we utilize Discord interface just click on a plus click on upload file after this select image that you want to upload press enter and here you have it your image uploaded on discord you can upload more than one image at a time to reference this image to our work we just need to click on this image right here you see preview right click and on a windows you can say copy image address on a mac i think it's just copy image and this is will provide for us information. So when we want to use it, we can go forward slash imagine and we paste the image. So at this point, we can start using the image or photo we imported. The one most common it is, it's create two different images and blend them together afterwards. So it's what we're going to do. We're going to blend, we're going to both together and I'll show you those secrets, how you can create the best things with this. Let's say this, I have this image and I generated one with oil painting, portraits in Mid Journey AI self portrait, Rembrandt lighting, original painting. So I will do the same things. Go ahead and copy this image address. After we're going down and paste after one image after another one. So this is one way to do it. Other ones common is do with a blend command. The new one, when you go forward slash and you just type blend. And what blend does allow you to upload two images and blend them together. Okay, and so right here we have our image created. Notice we have border on the side because two images was a specific aspect ratio right? and it's make as a square, but it does blend some styles. The other blending work a little bit different because you can see we have some flowers blending, so it's not necessary work. What I want to do, I want to create more realistic based on this with the original portrait. And problem right here, if we look on a face, currently you see her face and versus what we merge in, they kind of blend together. So here's what we need to do. We don't need it transfer face to face. And this is one of the biggest problems that people have it. They generated one image like beautiful ice queen, whatever they have this image and they try to merge together with the original image. And when it's two faces, AI will blend them together. And that is the biggest problem. So what we needed, we need create image without any person in this. So let's look on this examples right here. The image was created style again, blend those together. You can see it does blend style, but again, the faces is mixed together. Instead, what do you want to do? Just type like abstract pictures, flowers on canvas, oil, pastel colors. Be sure you have a two by three, a same rate as spectra, which your original image you want to match with and just generate this kind of image background. You want, can create flowers. You can also go ahead and generate just a background drapes. It's what in this case, I did abstract picture of background drapes, Baroque style, oil on canvas, pastel colors. Again, we generating this without any person inside. And this is important for us to when we start creating. Next, when we start merging, you can see with the flowers, we can integrate style with the flowering with the backdrops. It's going directly and integrate with backdrops. By the way, this is like 
cyberpunk you can do any other ones and let's look right here look on this what's happened with the drapes you see how well it's integrated but we still have it reference to our original image so we have it reference to our portrait in this case we have a two different images and merge them together Again, right there and this is our cyberpunk with background but here's come up very interesting things one if we're already using word to create or generate something why do we need to save this image in this case we need to use just only one image original and the rest we can use it as the backdrop as a text line but if we use the text line we need to be sure it's using exactly same um, alignment so it's the reason why we're using two images because we reference two images and we'll be sure they're exactly the same but with a mid journey we can use it another small things that not as few people using it's called seed what seed does if we look on this let's look right here this is just example inside the photoshop and if you're not familiar how ai work it will originally create this noise map and this is a random noise map based on different seeds and the seeds well tell you the truth it's nothing random in a computer okay it's all math it's all this and seed number can create mix of kind of noise and gaussian noise and all this stuff and if you have it one seed build one picture you created another one so you can see how they change and because of these changes will create a different look different layout and everything we want to fix this noise and it's why we will use it seed number exactly the same so we can duplicate exactly the same result through all of them let me show you example what i'm meaning by this right here let's just grab one of the text we'll just grab this one and we'll use it all the way here let's go ahead imagine okay we'll pass one without seed okay let's go create another one and we'll do same line only without seed so the two have it exactly same parameters but the both don't have it any seed specified okay so let's look on the result and you can see this is one very nice backdrop with all this pastel and another they look total different so what's happening if we do twice with exactly same seed number and notice right here seed one two three four five six not very imaginary seed but it should work for us right now and what i'm going to do actually if you type imagine this will help okay and we'll type imagine one more time so i will have it oops okay let's go right here it's my butter fingers okay so what we've done here we have a two prompts with exactly same seed number notice on two before without same seed number we produce two different sets of images okay and you can see as a result the both look exactly same right here and in fact because i use it exactly same above if we're going up 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 when i was at start experimenting with all stuff you'll find this one is look exactly the same as below because they was using exactly the same line um seed number does not guarantee you totally repeatable for example if we're going inside and we'll type same leave it same seed number but if i change the something from there to a background it's only one thing there air. let's see how much this will affect our result and it's actually shouldn't affect because majority will translate it but we do may have it some teeny tiny difference and right here you can see like you see the um folding little bit this way and this little bit different so a little bit sharpness will affect slightly the more change in the words you will have it more provide changes for example let's add more changes to this like soft lighting rest is exactly the same and you know what just let's go switch this back to the there there was before and process and you know what i'm going to increase size on one and upscale another one so we can compare a little bit bigger images and we'll see if the just teeny tiny change from there to air was affecting and here's a better example so you can see how this line like right example right there you see how they're going and exactly this elements and let's look on this one and you can see they change this is different elements it is look same but small details are changed this is interesting way to kind of think about what if you're going can you modify 
uh, letters or other things, how much it will change. Just small, teeny, tiny, significant change. As well, you notice on this, we don't have it like watermark on the top. And another one, we start for some reason, have it watermark on the top. And this is changed by only changing one letter. Of course, when you add more stuff or to the string, it will change this. Some have changed a little bit more, some a little bit less, but it is will affect. And actually, right here we can see it's a red. You notice this inside the red. This is look one way. And if we look on one before, it's a blue, another one. So it does change, but it's keep it closer. This is what important to understand. Seed will guarantee with the same string of the words. So now we have it our string and we like what is going on. So we don't want to modify anything. We'll just keep it this one. Next, what I want to do, it's actually blend this image, not between image and image, but image and the string that I know will produce that result. So we go ahead, copy image address, go down below, type imagine, paste the address. We'll go and grab the string what we created before and we'll paste this string in here. So on this case, I don't need require to take some image and post it because it's already will generate. The only reason I want to take image, it won't just this specific because remember this string will give me any variations of this four. So not necessarily um, just one, but in this case, I can mix it. Of course, we can put a two images together. For example, I can specify I want um, okay, let me go ahead, copy this image right here. Okay. Just like this, we'll just copy this all string. We'll go put all the string here. But I want specific, yeah, just use one image. So we'll go and select from that string. Or just example, let's go with this image. Okay. We'll go copy image of this address and we'll putting after the image so we kind of almost have a two images one with representing what i specifically wanted but we'll keep it same uh line descriptions that we had before and let's render this so what is happening in this case is we'll take these two images blend them together and we'll also apply the string that we have it before in this case i want to be sure it's kind of using these strings okay as it worked this way you also can influence beside this more what you need on an image so for example let's look what we have right here and we have a nice beautiful portrait but some influence of backdrop are too strong i want more influence and i want to keep it the precise of the portrait so another interesting thing is what is people don't use it it is image weight so let's go see what's happening right here this is image and let's do iw Okay, and we can have it image weight anywhere from 0 0.5 to 2. So the 2, the heaviest one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it the brackets. And this allowed me to do permutation. So instead of typing over and over and over again, I can just type in these permutations and they will repeat it. For example, I have it permutation 0 0.5. Next, I will have it 1. Next, I have it 1.2. Uh, five, yeah, one point five. That I should read it. And two. So what is happening here? It will go over and says, let's create four different variations with the different image weight. And this is nicer way to see it. Okay, when we are done this, press enter. It should come up and says, are you sure you want to do all these prompts? Yes. The reason is, okay. And at one point five, it does not recognize. I probably put it space or something right there. Let me go ahead and click show template. So I'll preview again um, what I'm done right here. And I'm going to copy this template. Yeah, because I put it one dot one. Okay, that is my mistake. Let's go rerun this. So we go imagine run here. And after one, I need to put it comma. So it's a number, comma, number, comma, number, comma, number. Okay, so now we'll produce four. Yes, in this case, it will go and start processing them for jobs for me, and we can verify them. This is easiest way to see how much image weight will affect on the position. An image weight is meaning how much of the original image should be. And let me show you example actually what is happening. 
we take our image and on top we're putting this noise you remember show before noise that we already created image map image weight what it does it's take this noise and reducing how much it is for example this will be 0 0.5 this one about will be one this one will be about two so you can see it's have it some of this noise that may affecting but original image is more permanent there so because it's worth uh, working on the um removing the noise denoising functions working there how it's generated so you can see the more permanent the more closer will be to the image and here's the example so this is the the most noise we overlay it is creating 0 0.5 the less effect on the image and we can see we change poses more colors the person inside hiding okay now this one is image two so this is the heaviest one okay let's come back to the heaviest we'll just look something between this one is image one it's what default and you can see less more face permanent less kind of overlay compared to our first one to this one if you remember how much it was here and of course this is with the face the more permanent so this is about the image way to the most impact we can create it and definitely you can see the face is very much resemble what we have in a picture but it is change background it is influence how it looks stylization we also can put it stylization for example on a baroque dress or rococo dress or cyberpunk dress as long we don't use it any reference to the people in actually removing then we'll preserve the most preserve of the portraits of the person inside here okay and let's look our second batch what was created again this is a 0 0.5 and you can see it's hidden it's smaller different proportion but it uses similar face face is a little bit more um noise need be processed so it's definitely much different with all the stuff increase weights to one and you can see face is more um closer to what we needed but we do lose a little bit more flexibility and the freedom of ai to create on background this one is 1.5 so we get it closer again very nice look same face same perfectly face to resemble what we have it and this is the much influence of the original image we can process produce in this case and you can see we definitely have it very nice look very nice pose similar to what we have at original portrait okay and it does also overlay what we wanted so let's one more example before i show you another stuff what we can do we'll just take this image that we have and as an example let's just change because the canvas it's one nice the drapes all the stuff we can go and have it cyberpunk room just total different okay neon lights l ed screens wires notice i tried to describe environment not the um person or somebody in there in fact we can actually says no humans and that will remove from the string that will have a human inside the image but not there so right here and we can have like um dark theme and again ar two by three we want to match our original portrait otherwise we'll have those bars on the side and we can have it seed if you need it in some cases if you want to have it um same effect i will recommend just create random seeds and reuse them because this way you know what the result you kind of will get it in this case but it's not required okay we're well done with this let's go press enter okay and so right here we have it, our image you can see sitting but this is image weight one notice this but it is beautiful room we have it, our portraits everything look great so let's go ahead and put it image weight two which will have it more um power more less the noise and more power to our original image okay so and right here we have it with a better weight so let's look on this and it definitely you can see the face more permanent more to the proportions that was inside the image and as well as positions and background less permanent but it still be there 
So on personal opinion, I think these ones is work better for the Porsches when we assemble. But if you want to experiment and just reference the otherwise, it's very nice to access. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's give you good um, tips and points and reveal some secrets of what I'm doing when I create the portraits and I want to create portraits closer resemble to original photos. Let me know what do you think. Uh, please subscribe to channel support. It's very, very helpful when you guys um, share this video and support the channel. I greatly appreciate this. And thank you again for watching and have a great time creating.